Good evening, friends. I am Rasu Padhyay from Simis College, Patna, Department of IT. In continuation to my GY series of Java, today I am going to talk about the concept of J button of Java, or rather uh, J button class of Swing package in Java. So first of all, we'll talk about what is called uh, J button, right? The constructor, their methods. And then later on, we will talk about the implementation part of button, right? So we will talk one by one, everything. So first of all, we will be talking about, first of all, we'll be talking about what is called J button. So uh, inside the Java, uh, the class J button is an implementation of a kind of a push button, right? So it has the concept of uh, push button itself, and using the push button, we can have certain, some sort of label on it, right? So it has certain label and uh, the things which you wanted to display on your button that you, you can write. So this component has a label as well as it can generate an event when it is getting pressed. Clear? And on the button, either you can have the text as a label or instead of text, you can have image on that particular button. So we need to understand if from where this button has been inherited. So this J button class is basically inherited from a class called abstract button, right? And it has one interface implemented that is called, that is called accessible, right? So if you, if you talk about the constructor part of this particular J button class, so you can create a J button class without having any text or any icon. That means we can say we can create an instance of J button class without having any text or icon on it, right? But that button is not having any sense. So we can have for that, we are having a second constructor where we can create an instance with the specified text. That means whatever you wanted to display on your button, you can write it as a part of a constructor. Clear, uh, you can write uh, that text as a part of constructor. Now. Now, nowadays, in the trendy kind of, uh, what you can say, button, if you wanted to create a little modern kind of button, so instead of a text, you can put a icon over that, right? For that, we are having a third kind of parameter where you can pass, uh, where you can, third kind of constructor where you can pass as a parameter, icon class object. So it creates an instance of a J button class with the specified icon, right? Along with that, along with that, uh, we are having some sort of, important method, which is a part of your J button class, right? So if you wanted to change the text or label on a J button class at any point in time, for that, this J button class offers a method called set text. So using the set text method, you can change that text at any point in time. Sometime it happens in an application of a Java, we are going to create only one button and that one button can perform the job of so many several other buttons just by changing their text and we are utilizing the same button to for uh, different different kind of work thus we are going to save the memory and we are doing the smart work you can set the size of a button also for that we are having a method called set size set size param set size method has two important parameter and always that parameter comes as a part of pixel so the first parameter can be the width of a button, which I wanted to see it on the screen. And the second parameter has to be the height of that particular button. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video also, basically this, uh, these kind of buttons, clear, these kind of buttons are by default visible on the screen. And if you wanted to make it hide from the screen, so we are having a method called set visible set visible and within this parameter, we can have the Boolean value called false. So at any point in time, if the button is not required, so we can uh, uh, hide from the screen or sometimes it happens the button is appeared on the screen, but it is it should not be active. So in order to make it inactive, we are having a, a method called set disable false clear. So set disable uh, true. So in that way, we can make enable or disable as per the requirement. And let's say if you have the application where you have n number of buttons and any button can be clicked from the application, 
but how your event handler is going to track which button was pressed, right? In order to understand which button was pressed, so we are tracking it through the button label control, right? So the things which you have written on the button, we wanted to retrieve it in order to understand what, what button has been clicked, right? So for that, we are having a met method called get text. So using the get text, we can retrieve the label written on the button, right? So these are the few important method as well as few important constructor for this particular uh, purpose, right? So now, in my next video, I'll be taking care of the implementation part of this particular J button class of Swing Package in Java. So definitely I'll be uh, releasing that particular video, maybe today or maybe tomorrow, right? So just wait for that video and uh, there will be getting implementation. We'll, I'll be writing a program as well as we'll compile, it pro compile a program, we'll run the program and we'll see all other features of the J button class. Thank you for watching this particular video.